folks and welcome back to Fishing with Den. Well this time I'm going to show you my new camp kitchen or chop box as some people call it. And here it is. Now, I can't take any um, credit for the fact that uh, it's this uh, size and shape. There's plenty of these on the internet. What I can take credit for is my own little innovations. And the first of which is that this is a really lightweight chuck box and it's made out of 6mm plywood strengthened by these strips here. Now we'll be doing a video on how to build one of these things in the next week or so, so stay tuned and I will actually try and put a, a link into the des description box at the bottom. So we might as well start at the beginning then. This is what it looks like when it's being transported. And as you can see, these flaps at the top here, if you lift them up, they're stopping these wings from coming out. So that's a nice little feature um, to retain the wings in, in situ. I may put a, a catch on here at some point, but I'm going to see how we go for a short while on that one before I really do uh, change much. Now remember, I haven't been camping all that much. I just know that after the few times I have been camping, I need to be more organised. So, back to set up then. Plonk it down wherever it is you've got to go. Use the handle. Allow that to drop down. Same here. You don't have to put those up too tightly. And that's the leg set up. Now the height of this thing is set up in exactly the same as your own kitchen. The overall height is about 900 millimetres or about three feet. As you can also see, if you look at the legs, if we had uneven sur sur surfaces, if I were to have something uneven here, you could lock the, the legs in that position to cope. So you should never ever anymore have any excuse for having this thing on a slant. The thing I found was that if you're boiling water or cooking, if this is on a slant, then you're prone to the possibilities of accidents. So with that in mind, if I open up these flaps, if we look down here, you'll see that these support beams actually extend further down past the front of the, the box itself. And the reason for that is stability. If we were to have it just in line straight down with here, it would probably be okay, but frankly, I want it to be more solid. And then, regardless of the surface you're using, whether it be uneven, on a hill or whatever, you will always be able to get this completely level. So now let's have a look inside the, the box. In the top, we've got my two burner stove, and I may actually decide to just put some little corner pieces on there to stop it from just shaking around. But for the moment, that's fine. I may also create myself a three sided shroud so that if the wind does get up too much I can um, shroud myself from the, the wind. Okay, moving on down, I've got the usual um, trays and, uh, and compartments in here, but what I have done is I've bought these long boxes. Now, what I find with other people's is that they may well have stuff in there, but you have to get right down somehow like this and oh, the aged back isn't what it used to be. So by having these, you can put them in or take them out as you want to. Now, I haven't yet decided if I'm going to leave the lids on or leave them off, but that'll happen next time I go out camping. Obviously, we've got the usual utensils in there. Again, kitchen stuff in this one. This one's actually empty almost at the moment, apart from the dog bags. Um, and that just gives me some room for stuff which I haven't thought about. Down in the bottom, we've got some trays to eat off, cutting board, pots and pans and so on, and a washing bowl. Again down here, other stuff we're going to use like uh, spare gas cartridges, mosquito coils and so on. In the sides, obviously, as with most of these things, we've got cups and we've got uh, condiments, cooking oil and so on. On the other side, we've got tea, coffee, sorry, tea, sugar and coffee. And of course the necessary wine glasses to be going on with. Again, in the side here, we've got uh, cleaning equipment. And again, as I say, folks, 
I haven't used this yet, so I'm still learning about how this is going to work. But hopefully, this has given you a few more ideas of what's possible. Um, as I say, I'm about to do a, a video on how to build it. So stay tuned, and hopefully, you'll start building one yourselves. So that's it for this one, then. If you enjoyed it, you know the score. Click the like button. If you want to subscribe, you can do that too. And until the next time, bye for now.